CompTIA ITF Plus, FC0-U61, Practice Exam. Questions 126 through 130. This video is part of our practice exam video series, and is filled with questions that closely resemble the real exam. So are you prepared to test your knowledge? Great, let's begin. Question 126. A business seeks a solution that allows multiple users concurrent access to an application, with a strong emphasis on secure information storage. What is the most suitable choice for storing this data? The answer is C. Database. A database stands out as the preferred option for data storage in environments requiring concurrent user access. This is due to its inherent design that supports multiple users interacting with the data simultaneously without performance degradation. Furthermore, databases offer advanced security measures, ensuring that while multiple users can access the data they need, stringent controls protect sensitive information from unauthorized access or breaches, maintaining data integrity and confidentiality. Question 127. A user is setting up a wireless router and wants to follow security best practices. What should the user change? Choose 2. The answer is D and E. SSID and default login credentials. Changing the SSID and default login credentials are best practices for wireless router security. The SSID, visible to nearby devices, should be unique to avoid drawing attention from attackers who target default settings. As for default login credentials, these are typically well-known and easily accessible, posing a security risk. Customizing these elements strengthens the network's defenses, reducing vulnerability to unauthorized access. Question 128. A company implements software that operates fully on a single workstation without the need for additional system layers. What type of architecture does this setup exemplify? The answer is A. One tier. The one tier architecture is characterized by the fact that all the required processing, data management, and interface components of the application are handled within a single system or workstation. This means the entire application, with all its functionalities, runs on the user's machine, eliminating the need for separate layers or distributed structures, which are common in multi-tier architectures. This type of setup simplifies the system's configuration because it doesn't rely on networked resources or remote servers. Question 129. What kind of software would be most suitable for transmitting a file to a colleague? The answer is A. Instant messaging. Instant messaging is the preferred choice for sending a file to a colleague because it incorporates file transfer functionality within the chat interface. This feature allows users to easily attach and send files directly in their conversations, ensuring seamless, immediate sharing without the need to switch to different platforms or use additional file sharing services. Question 130. After confirming that a system is fully operational following a fix, what is the next step a technician should take in the troubleshooting process? The answer is B. Document lessons learned. Once you have verified full system functionality following a fix, the next step involves documenting lessons learned about the issue and its resolution. This practice is essential for enhancing organizational knowledge, improving future problem-solving efforts, and preventing the same challenges from reoccurring by offering clear past references. Now, did you stumble on any of these questions? If you did, no worries, it happens. Just remember, our free CompTIA ITF Plus training course is your secret weapon to mastering these topics. Access it through our YouTube channel, anytime you feel the desire to learn more. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.